Hi and welcome back to my channel. As some of you know I've had a few challenges in the last few months. Uh, we moved and then as soon as I moved I fell downstairs. I told you that I was doing a few things to the house that we bought. So since I last spoke to you we've had the car charger put in, we've had the solar put on the roof and we've had an air source heat pump and under floor heating fitted and most of the house has now been renovated. The roof needed to be replaced and seeing as the whole roof was coming off and being replaced we decided to go for the inset system. We used House Choice who were recommended and they did an excellent job. They fitted it in in a day. Basically it's a cradle that they put up onto the new felt and battens and then they put the panels on top of that, wire it all in and then they drop the cables down to the consumer unit and inverter which is downstairs inside the house just inside the front door and not in the roof so that it doesn't cook in the hot weather. So we've had a few months of generating our own power which has been great and it's effective. We had 4.14 kilowatts of panels put on the roof and applied to Western Power, our local DNO, to have that. As standard you can have up to 3.6 kilowatts without uh, having permission. You just have to notify them using a GE98 I think it is. But Western Power in their wisdom decided that um, their system, their cables on our area cannot cope with any generation any more than the 3.6. So we have 4.14 kilowatts sitting on the roof but the inverter is only 3.6. That's what, we've, what we have. So that has been powering the car uh, via our SAPI unit. The solar installation was very simple for them because the roofer had the scaffolding in place to replace the whole roof. The roofer came along and took the tiles off the front of the roof and uh, removed all the old felt. It had about 20 holes in it which is unsurprising that we had water damage inside the house. We have concrete finlock gutters and your immediate reaction when you get water damage inside the house is the gutters are leaking but no it's not the gutters it's almost always the roof. It was the felt had deteriorated and the felt's like 60 years old because the house dates from sort of the 50s. It's next council house and the roof had just been bodged over the years and say had lots and lots of holes in the felt. So we replaced the roof and because we were doing that we thought we might as well go for solar at the same time. It was always on the plan to have solar but as the roof was all the tiles were being taken off and having a new roof we decided to do the solar at the same time and bring the bring it forwards. No regrets whatsoever. On a good day we're generating probably 28 kilowatts is the maximum we've generated in one day so far which is very good and some days we're able to use it all other days we're not. I haven't yet signed up to anybody to for an export tariff uh, 3p a kilowatt because I'm on Octopus Go I get a few pence a day which I guess would help but it's definitely reduced the bills considerably. So we're very happy with the solar. So that is the solar panel installation. 